Hi, welcome to Audiobook Academy. This is a self-paced audiobook. There's no need to keep an eye on things. Just pay attention. Thank you for taking the time to listen. This is a book summary of The 10x Rule. The Only Difference Between Success and Failure by Grant Cardone. Imagination is the best medicine. The best way to visualize success is to think about all of your goals and what they mean to you. After that, divide it by 10. According to the 10x rule, we're underestimating our true potential when it comes to setting and achieving our goals. It's time for everyone to step up their game by multiplying their goals by 10. Grant Cardone is a best-selling author, sales trainer, and motivational speaker. A social media and sales training expert, he's worked with Google, Toyota, and General Motors. This summary will help us understand what success means and how to achieve it. Success is your duty, obligation, responsibility, says Cardone. He believes many of us have fallen into the trap of adopting a middle-class mindset where we are unable to break out of financial ruts and achieve economic freedom. This course will teach us that success is an extreme sport, and we must shed our mediocrity and think 10 times bigger in order to achieve true success. Scaling up mindset. What are your secrets to success? How important is it to have the right financial resources or to have a strong network of contacts? According to Cardone, success is a state of mind rather than something that can be measured or attributed to external factors. We've all heard about the benefits of positive thinking, but according to our author, we need to take it to a whole new level. We must increase our goals by tenfold and work tenfold harder to achieve them. In order to achieve success, one must put forth tremendous effort and resilience. Basically, one must work extremely hard to achieve this. For example, Cardone says that regardless of the goal at hand, multiplying your efforts by 10 will reap the benefits. This rule isn't limited to achieving goals and succeeding in life's endeavors. Increasing our level of consciousness is better for our health. When we have a greater sense of direction in life, we are less likely to procrastinate, have more energy, and achieve our full potential. It's a paradox that so many people give up control of their lives and make excuses for why they aren't achieving their full potential. Instead of wallowing in self-pity or pointing fingers at others, we must take responsibility for our own actions and stop whining. 10x rule is a way to improve your mindset and lead a more successful life by shifting your perspective and insisting on more rather than accepting less. Cardone argues that a common mistake people make is setting themselves up for failure by setting themselves up for failure with unrealistic expectations. It's impossible to achieve greatness if you don't believe you deserve it. According to our author, highly successful people aren't content with enough. They always want more. We're taught that our goals should be attainable and realistic, but who decides what's realistic? Various images of a middle-class existence have been presented to us as the ideal. The problem with this is that we don't question this ideal and are content with the middle-class package that comes with it. It is Cardone's contention that middle-class status does not suffice because it equates us with the rest of the population, placing us somewhere in the middle. We need to look beyond the middle of the road and imagine bigger things. Goals that fall short of our expectations leave us feeling unfulfilled because they don't live up to what we had hoped for. In the event that we don't meet all of our lofty goals, we'll still have exceeded our expectations. In addition, we're more enthused to keep trying to get that last bit closer to realizing our ultimate goal. We must be laser focused on achieving our objectives. When we're obsessed, we need to write them down every day and night. Keeping tabs on our progress toward our objectives helps us stay focused. To make goals more manageable, revising and tweaking them is necessary. Goals should challenge us just enough so that we don't get bored and disinterested in pursuing them. In order to reach our full potential, we need goals to guide us along the way. To write down our goals, Cardone advises that we write them as if we've already achieved them. For example, I've never been healthier and fitter, I earn $10,000 a month, and I own my dream home. It's also critical to expand on our goals, so if you want a dream home, you must also decide who you want to live in it. Having a clear picture of a goal helps us stay motivated by making it more real. Finally, check to see if your goals align with your mission and if your current circumstances allow you to progress upward. Increasing the size of the project. Have you ever wondered why some people are successful while others aren't? A simple explanation is offered by Cardone, and it revolves around the concepts of effort and action. Aiming for greatness requires setting lofty goals and putting in extra effort. When Cardone examined his own life, he discovered that he was working 10 times harder than anyone else. The average person might only make one phone call. He was doing 10 times as much as anyone else and succeeding as a result, it became clear very quickly. We often fail because we don't take action, according to Cardone, who cites this observation. Action can be broken down into four levels, 
but only the final one leads to success and happiness. Passivity is the first step. No action is taken, and the potential of passive individuals is unrealized. We stagnate, become sluggish, and lose our sense of direction when we become accustomed to inactivity. There are two levels to this story, the first is where we hide out, and the second is where our heads go in the sand. Fear of failure keeps people like this from making any progress. Cardone believes that most people fall into the third category. This is mediocrity at its worst. An average amount of effort is put forth by those who do just enough to make ends meet. Even though you put in an average amount of effort, you will only receive average results. He believes that people who succeed take extreme measures because they believe they will reap the benefits of their actions. You'll reap long-term benefits even if you put in a lot of time and effort in the short term. You're not working hard enough if you aren't experiencing hardships and difficulties. The bottom line is that what you put in, you get back out. Take, for instance, Cardone's analysis of his first company. Most of us are aware that starting a new business is a lengthy process, and that it takes time to achieve financial stability. In Cardone's mind, he was ready for this. He expected to be running at a loss for only a few months, but it ended up taking three years. He was close to quitting because he couldn't manage his expectations. To make sense of what was happening, he compiled a list of reasons for quitting. His difficulties were due to his misunderstanding about the time and effort required to achieve his goals, which he realized after considering various factors, such as being too young and dealing with a bad economy. In order to succeed, he had to change his mentality and increase the amount of effort he was putting in. He devoted all of his effort to cold calling potential clients. As the number of cold calls increased, so did the number of rejections, but the increased effort paid off in the long run. Responsibilities are being multiplied. To be successful, according to Cardone, is our obligation and duty to ourselves. In our author's view, success is not something we can simply opt into, rather, it is a duty we must fulfill. With this mindset, it's our moral obligation to be highly successful and productive. We will only succeed if we adopt this mindset. In the long run, we owe it to the people we work with, as well as our families and loved ones. Success is not a gift from the gods, and it doesn't just fall into our laps. Many people, on the other hand, believe that they are entitled to success. Laziness is often equated with a sense of entitlement. It's time for us to go all in on our own success and self-motivation. Cardone says we need to reframe our positive work ethics in order to avoid being labeled as workaholics or obsessives by those who would like to cast aspersions on us. For inspiration, he suggests that we look to children. When it comes to asking a plethora of questions, kids are unstoppable. For the most part, children's dreams are unwaveringly unrestricted. This ethos of going all in on life must guide our daily actions, otherwise, we are behaving unethically. According to Cardone, it is wasteful to not reach our full potential. In addition, success isn't just about money, it's a combination of relationships, health and well-being, social responsibility, and so on. Getting started on this path isn't easy, but framing success in terms of ethics and duty helps us take action. When we have control over our own lives, we can stop making excuses and realize that settling for a mediocre existence isn't an option. It's not just about starting tomorrow. What are you waiting for? Decide what you want to accomplish and write it down. Then multiply it by 10. End of the story. What did you want to be when you grew up? Start thinking like a kid again, and make the most of your one life. In order to be successful, we must be curious, not settle for average, and compound our dreams and goals in order to never be bored or unfulfilled. Being a workaholic does not equate to being successful. Everything depends on us. Not a matter of good fortune, connections or talent, it's not even about an Ivy League college education. The great thing about the 10x rule is that it's free and accessible to anyone. The only thing you need to do is set higher goals and work harder than the majority of your peers. When it comes to creating the life we want, we often underestimate how much effort it will take. It's true that it requires a certain amount of self-control. It's absolutely necessary to be motivated. As a result of wanting to leave something behind, we keep up our enthusiasm and drive. If you want to leave a lasting impression, start working on your legacy now. Thank you for listening in Audiobook Academy. Please don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. See you in next audiobook.